Today, I will show you how to utilize repeating templates in Notion to save time and increase productivity. Being effective also means eliminating small tasks that waste our time and are not essential. To achieve this, we can set up automations that assist us in handling monotonous work, allowing us to focus on the most important tasks. I have created three examples that use repeating templates to establish a framework for enhancing efficiency. I use this type of automation in my workspace and I believe you can benefit from it as well. In this tutorial, we will create a chore calendar, a subscription tracker, and a habit tracker. With repeating database templates, you only need to create a template once and set it up to repeat as often as necessary. The item will automatically be created in the database and all you have to do is check it off when you're done. Let's begin with a blank page. Give it a name and an icon, and if you want, a cover photo. Next, we will create three databases. Click forward slash and type database. Select the database inline option. Let's call it chores. Now let's create the second database for the subscriptions by repeating the same actions as before. The third and last database will be called Habits. Leave the databases for now and go back to the first one. We can rename the table view and call it Chore List. Select an appropriate icon if you like. We can now hide the database name to make it more neat. Next, we need to set up the database and its properties. The default property is the name property. Change its name to Chore. Then click on the plus sign here to add a property. Firstly, we need a date to know when we last performed the chore. Then we need a select property that we'll call area or room. We need two more properties. One is for the repeating cycle of the chore. This will be another select property. And finally, we need a checkbox to mark a chore as completed. You can call this property done or leave a space to show only the icon as I did here. Now let's input some example chores, give them a date, an area and a frequency. Basically, in this phase, you should list all the chores you need to complete along with their frequency. Once you're done, we can create a repeating templates for all the chores. Let's add the first template. Click the down arrow next to the blue button and select New Template. Give it the same name as the chore. You can assign a specific icon if you wish. Then assign an area and a frequency. And in the date property, select the second option where it says Today. So when the page is created, the date property will be correctly assigned. Click outside the window to save. Now let's go back to the template menu where you will see the template you've just created. Click the three dots next to the template and activate the repeat option. Select the frequency. In this example, we need to perform the task twice a month or every two weeks. So select weekly. Another window will appear where we can tell Notion to repeat this chore every two weeks. You can also choose the day of the week you want the chore to be created and the starting date, which in this example will be today. Leave the time as is. This means that Notion will add a new page to your chore database at midnight of the selected day. As you can see, Notion will now tell you the next date and time it will create a page in your database for this template. Click on Save and then Out. If you go back to the template menu, you can now see the blue icon next to the first chore template, which signifies a repeating template. You're all set. Now you should repeat this operation for all the chores you want. The setup can seem a little tedious, but it's a task you will only perform once. Notion will take care of the rest. Once you have completed the setup, you can generate a calendar to see all your chores. So duplicate the first database view by clicking on its name and selecting Duplicate. In the View options, give the view a name. In this case, I'll call it Calendar. 
and an icon. Click on Layout and select the calendar. Where it says Show Calendar As, you can choose Month to create a monthly calendar or Week. Let's go with the Month for now. Untoggle the Wrap option and leave the rest of the options as default. Click Back and then click on Properties. Here you can decide which properties you want to display on the calendar. In this case, I want to see the area for the chore and the checkbox to mark it as done. Now you see all your chores displayed on the calendar and you can check the ones you've completed. It's important to note that when using repeating templates, you won't be able to view the pages in the database until they are created. Notion generates these pages on the specified date at the chosen time, which in this case is at midnight. However, when you check your tracker in the morning, you will see all the chores for the day. Now that we have created our chore manager, let's give this section a title and a divider to tidy pages layout. It's now time to move on to the subscriptions. Give this section a title as well. As for the database, let's call this view All Subscriptions. Choose an icon and hide the database title. Let's name the default property Subscription. Next, we'll add additional properties. The first property will be a number property for the price. I have chosen the US dollar as an example currency, but you can select your preferred currency. We'll also need to add a date property for the payment date, a select property for the billing cycle, and a checkbox to mark the subscription as paid. Additionally, you can include two formula properties to calculate the monthly and yearly prices, which we'll set up later. Next, let's create some example subscriptions, including their prices and billing cycles, as well as a pay date. After that, we can set up the formulas. I have included the formulas in the description box for you to copy and paste into the formula editor. But basically, I use the ifs function to calculate the monthly cost and the round function to round the number to two decimal places. I also added a dollar sign at the beginning for clarity, but it is entirely optional. Now it's time to set up the repeating templates following the instructions I gave you before. Click the down arrow on the blue button and select New Template. Give it a name and an icon. Input the amount and the billing cycle and select Today for the date. Click Out, then open the Template menu and select the first option to repeat the template. This time select Monthly. On the window that appears, leave the first option as is. Select the starting date and then Save. If you have done everything correctly, you will see the blue icon next to your template. Repeat this step for the other active subscriptions you have. You can now create a monthly tracker for your subscriptions by duplicating the first view. Name this view this month and choose an icon if you like. We will keep the layout as a table since it's better suited for this tracker. But you can also opt for a calendar or a list layout if you prefer. I decided to hide the vertical lines for a cleaner look. Regarding the properties displayed in this view, you can keep them as they are or hide the yearly and monthly costs if you prefer. The last step is to add a filter to show only its subscriptions related to the current month. So click on Filter, then select the Paid Date. Click where it says Paid Date this week and instead of Week, select Month from the drop-down menu. You will now see the little calendar highlight the selected time frame and then click out of the window. Only pages with a paid date relative to this month will be displayed on this view. Remember to check the box to mark a subscription as paid so you can keep track of your payments. You now have an inbox table to manage all your active subscriptions and a monthly tab to track your monthly payments. If you decide to unsubscribe from a service, you can disable the repeating automation. To do this, open the template menu, locate the template you want to deactivate, click on the blue icon, and then select the drop down menu that indicates the repeating cycle. In this example, it says repeat monthly. Choose the last option to turn it off. This way, if you want to reactivate a subscription later, you won't need to create a new template. Simply reactivate its repeating option. 
However, if you wish to cancel a subscription completely, you can delete the template entirely. The third and final use case for repeating templates is creating an automated habit tracker. Let's set up this template. First, rename the default column. Then add the other properties. You will need a date property and as many checkboxes as you have habits. In this example, I will create four checkboxes, rename them according to the habits, and assign a personalized icon to each. This allows you to resize the column and hide the title if needed. Additionally, you can create a progress bar using a formula property. I will provide the formula in the description box, but essentially, you need to convert each checkbox into a number using the toNumber function. Sum them up and divide the total by the number of habits you have. Once you have entered the formula, click Save, go to the property menu, select Number Format and choose Percent. You can also customize the style of the progress bar as I have done here. Next, create a few example pages and check some boxes to ensure everything functions correctly. Now let's set up the template for each day. For the page title, I want a dynamic title, so I'll type at and select the second option in the menu, date when duplicated. For the date property, I will also select today and keep the rest of the properties as they are. You can choose an icon as well. After that, click outside the window to activate the repeating option. Select daily as the repeating cycle and leave the remaining options unchanged. Finally, click save. Now the daily habits page will appear in your database each day. Next, let's create a weekly habit tracker. Duplicate the first view and name it Weekly Habits. Choose an icon and select the calendar layout. Set the calendar to display as a week, then return to the previous menu. Click on Properties and enable all the checkboxes along with the progress bar. Now you can easily access your tracker every day and check off the habits you've completed. Notion will take care of the rest. And there you have it. You can now take advantage of repeating templates in Notion. This feature has various use cases and you can customize it to fit your own workspace, saving you valuable time. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let us know if you successfully created your trackers. Thank you so much for watching and happy planning.